In this session, we are going to understand what are measures of central tendency. Let's say we are going to study about a particular group. So when you study a particular group, you would get a lot many observations about that group, right? When you study a particular group, you will get a lot many observations about that group. But in that case, it would not be possible to study all the observations of the group. So what, what we need is we need a representative of the group. That is, we need a representative of the group which should actually uh, represent each and every element or each and every observation or the majority of the observations of the group. That means we must have a representative that should be central for the value of all the observations. And this central value will be called as a measure of central tendency. So I'll repeat again, when you study a group, you get lot many observations, but it would not be possible to analyze all the observations. Hence, we need a representative of the group. Such representative should be central value of all the observations. And this central value will be called as measures of central tendency. There is another name for this measure of central tendency that is uh, averages or measure of location. So let me put it, the other name for the measure of central tendency is nothing but averages. So when we say averages, there are basically five averages, but if I split them, I can split them into two. One is simple average and the other one is special average. I said there are five averages, but I'm categorizing the averages into two groups. One is simple average, the other one is special average. So simple average basically includes mean, it covers median, then we have mode. And the special averages are basically the geometric mean, which I'll write as GM, and then harmonic mean, which I'm writing as HM. So understand, average basically stands or it represents the whole group to which it forms part of and it represents it. So average stands for the whole group of which it forms part and represents the group. So you should also understand what are the characteristics of average. Average should be something which is rigidly defined that is you should rigidly define what is average okay then it should be easy to compute and you should be able to understand and the average should be arrived after considering all the items in the population then it should be based on the uh, mathematical formula and it should be available for the further algebraic treatment or say statistical sampling okay and the most important point is this average should be the nearest to the most of the items in the data. So this is about the measure of central tendency and average. In the next session, I'll explain what is simple average. We call it as arithmetic mean.